Python Trainer, Python Trainer Ruben Lerner here, and today I want to answer a question that I had myself for many years, and that I was recently asked by someone on my Better Developers list. And the question is this, if I want to use the randint function from within the random module, I can say either import random, and then say random.randint from say 0 to 100, or I can say from random, import randint, and then I can just say randint 0 to 100. Both of these are acceptable. There's nothing technically wrong with either of these. And the difference is basically that here I'm importing the module, creating a module object, and then assigning that module object to the variable random. Whereas here I'm just going to be defining the variable randint, which refers to random.randint. That's not the question. The question is, does this second form save us memory? Does the second form ensure that I'm only loading randint and that I'm not loading all of the module and thus using less memory and conserving resources on my computer? So let's consider what happens when I import a module. First of all, I'm going to import sys. And sys is actually a special kind of module because it's already loaded when Python starts up. This is sort of the equivalent of the Python virtual machine. However, whenever you use import, you're actually doing two things. You're creating a module object based on a file on disk, and you're also defining a variable. So because sys was already loaded automatically, but the variable was not defined, this just declared the variable. Why am I loading sys? Because I can say sys.modules. And sys.modules is a dictionary. It's a dictionary containing all the modules that Python already knows about. And these are the modules then that if we import them, Python won't go look for them on disk. It'll just load them up right away. So if I say here, import random, what is Python going to do? It's basically going to say, hey, is random in sys.modules? If it's true, well, then we don't really need to load it, do we? It's already loaded. It's already there. There's nothing to load. And all we have to do then is define the variable. But what if I say from random, import randint? What happens then? And let's say that the module was not loaded previously. Well, in order to answer this sort of question, I'm going to need to create my own module, one that Python has not loaded. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to head over to Emacs here, and I'm going to say, uh, let's just create a super, super simple module, one that I've called my mod. I'm going to say here x equals 100 and y equals 10, 20, 30. Let's even define a function, def hello name return hello name. What a fantastic module, right? So let's say I go back to Jupyter now and I say import my mod. What's going to happen? Well, Python is going to check, is my mod in sys.modules? The answer is going to be no. We can even check that ourselves. My mod in sys.modules. Answer is false. So what's it going to do? It's going to go to the disk. It's going to go to the file system, read, evaluate, you know, load up that entire module. It does that through a combination of parsing and byte compilation, checking is there a PY and a PYC. We don't have to go into that right now. It loads the module. And then it puts that loaded module in sys.modules. And then it defines the variable for us. All right, so we can do that. We can say here, import my mod, and then we'll see that my mod is in in sys.modules. Sure enough, it's there. And now when I say my mod.x, what does Python do? Well, it goes to the variable it created, my mod, and it goes to the attribute x. And because x is a global variable in my mod in this module, it is available as an attribute right here. So far, so good. And I can say my mod.hello of world and it works just great. So it sort of stands to reason that if I want to save some memory, I can just say from my mod import, let's say hello, and then it's only going to load the function. It's going to ignore x and y. Let's see if that's true. I'm going to restart my Jupyter kernel there, here, which means it's going to restart Python in the background. And so now after it's done that, if I say, hey, is my mod in sys.modules, it's going to say, sys isn't even loaded, let alone sys.modules, let alone my mod. What are you talking about? OK, so that's good. So I'm going to say here, import sys. Very good. And now I can ask this question, my mod in sys.modules, the answer is false. So I'm now going to say from my mod import hello. And sure enough, I can now say hello world, and it works just fine. But wait a second, how did this work? How can this possibly work? Right, when I say from my mod import hello, in order for this to work, Python needed to go through the file, find the thing named hello, byte compile that function, only that function, load that somehow into a module object. This all sounds extremely complicated. Wouldn't it just be easier for Python to go through the whole file, load the whole file, and just assign one variable, one that refers to the same thing as hello? Well, guess what? That's exactly what happens. If I say now my mod in sys.modules, 
Indeed, it has been loaded. The entire module has been loaded into memory. The difference between import and from import is what variable is defined. Do we define a global variable that then refers to the entire module through which we can get to the attributes, which refer to the globals that were defined in that module file? Or do we define one variable that refers to one piece of that module? But regardless of which one we choose, the entire module is going to be loaded. And we have a simple way to test this. Remember that when you import a module, the entire module is executed from top to bottom. It's not that it somehow goes over this and says, oh, x equals 100. No, no, that line, x equals 100, that executes. And y equals 10, 20, 30, the same thing. So we can actually say print, you know, hello, I don't even need this here. Ah, hello from my mod. And here I can say goodbye from my mod. And so if I now restart my Jupyter kernel, restart it, and if I now say import my mod, there we go, it says hello and goodbye. By the way, this is really, really considered rude. You should not do this in your actual modules. But if I one last time restart my Jupyter kernel, and then I'm gonna say from my mod import hello, from my mod import hello, we sure enough see, once again, that the module has been executed from top to bottom. That means that we have not saved any memory. That means that the module object is indeed loaded into memory. It means the next time that we say import my mod, that Python doesn't need to load anything. It just needs to create an alias or a reference to sys.modules, square brackets, my mod. Interesting? I thought so when I discovered this. Hope this is helpful and interesting for you as well. Let me know if you have Python questions. I love answering them. You can send them to me on Twitter. I'm at Ruben M. Lerner. You can send them to me via email, ruben at learner.co.il. And I will be back on this channel with more Python questions and answers very soon.